What is up guys? This is Hobo. Life is good. I've got more free time. I still can't beat Renus. And here's a replay. In the top left, we have Silver Boss. In the bottom right, with the blue guys, we've got Hero. Hero Oof Ages. Hero of Ages. Hero of Forges, if you don't know how to spell his name right. Like I do. <laughs> so. We are currently on Jade Wadai. Hoping I got the name right. Won't play this game for a couple years. So, so far we do have an exciting house from Silver. It's a bit faster than Heroes. Uh, oh. Currently 9 to 9 workers. We do have a worker scout going out, potentially going for a proxy. But um, the house finally does go down for Hero. With the delayed house and the second work going out, it very well could be a proxy. Especially with this pathing. Path uh, by default, when you have units go, they tend to go down this middle lane. But yeah, it looks like you might be trying to go somewhere in this area. Maybe for a Rax play, get some procs down here. It does look like Silver is potentially going for a fast expansion though. Which might not be the best against a proxy. Meanwhile, we do have the first barracks coming down. Second one's probably on its way now. Yeah, looks like he just queued it. This is going to be rough for Silver. Generally, if you go for a greed build and someone else goes for a rush build, you're going to be in a little bit of a pickle. It can be doable. It just depends on the situation. And it does look... There we go. Here's the proxy Rax. Meanwhile, the castle is down. Uh, how would I respond to this? Well, first off, I usually wouldn't go for a fast castle like this. But I guess one of the best options would be a double tower. That's only because I do not trust my micro. Meanwhile, the first raider is now on its way, along with the first wolf den. I think uh, Silver's going to have to hurry up and get the second wolf den down. He's going to be ahead on ego for a bit. But he is currently not producing workers, instead favoring to get this um, wolf done done. He will be able to get a significant amount more gold when he does start mining. We'll be able to see this pretty soon. Right now it's 450 gold. We'll see what this bumps up to after those workers start mining. The wolf dens are now finishing. We do have the first raider on the field going up towards these little wolf dens. Interesting wall. The raiders will be able to blink around this, but they'll have to go all the way around to get away. Could be good for micro purposes. So it's now about 500 gold to about 400. The difference right now is barely noticeable. But this wolf is now going to just barely past the two raiders without seeing anything. It's going to have to be pulled back. All the workers. No raider getting a hit off. We do have more wolves on the way. This is going to be a battle purely of micro. We don't actually have a lot more units coming from here or here. A pause production. Never a thing you want to do here. And we do have a tower coming down. One wolf does go down. We do see the tower as well. Second wolf goes down. These raiders could potentially die from this. One raider is now down. This is going to be a game of micro here. Does not look like Hero is getting the damage he needs though. Looking at the units lost right now, it's two wolves to single raider. With only three raiders on, four raiders technically on the field, only three at play though. Another one about to go down. The raiders do get into the main base, this could be very good for Hero though. Another raider does go down, only two hits off so far. Using the focus fire. And another raider does go down. It's now tied. Raiders lost to workers' loss, uh, wolves' loss. 
that is not something you want to be tied on. Again, three raiders near the base, not quite in it. Do have a tower as well. Just taking a second to look back at home for Hero. He's currently got a fully saturated worker line, about to be over. And his raiders are not putting in the work. One of the big things here was that wall from Silver was able to let in. Get some nice surrounds on the raiders. We could be getting to critical mass. I do like the fact that we now are seeing snakes come out. Now that there's more raiders than wolves, it's going to be a lot harder for Silver. We also see potentially dragons coming. Could be a little bit too expensive for what he needs. And this is the right move from Hero. Whenever there's that tower, it's easier to just go to the main base. Wolves will be picked off here. They'll be able to deal more damage per attack than um, wolves will be able to do. Looking at the unit's loss, it's still 5-3. to three. And that's about to change. A lot of low health raiders, a lot of low health wolves. Excellent micro from Silver here though. I think um, Hero could have gotten a bit more damage out of that. 5 wolves to 4 at this point. Silver just has to be careful because those raiders could go down to the main at any moment here. Looking again at the production, we do finally have a second castle coming out from Hero. Just trying to keep a steady eye on the uh, units lost. We have the two dragon layers. As soon as those dragons come out, it's going to be tough for Hero to do anything. The raiders could get quite a bit of damage done. It does look like at least neither worker gets taken out. Two workers down so far. Another worker goes down. Raiders are being surrounded at this point. And two raiders go down in exchange for those four workers. Apparently 18 workers to 14. The uh, first troops are coming now. Got soldiers and archers. Just looking here, uh, Silver still has not seen where the proxy is quite yet. But again, as soon as these dragons go out, there's not going to be a lot that here can do. Now, seven wolves lost to six raiders. Trying to find under the tower cover. And the first snakes are finally coming out. I don't know how well the uh, single archer is going to do against the dragons. We'll see how that goes. Another wolf does go down in the meantime. And it looks like Hero's going to lose this um, barracks if he's not careful. And raiders coming in from behind. This is not a good exchange for Silver. Whenever you're fighting Rax as Beast, you want the higher surface area. That is not what Silver has right now. Losing a total of three more wolves so far, four snakes to only kill three raiders and two archers. I would not call that efficiency, but he is continuing to send units in. And it does look like the um, Rax is now going to go down. Well, an advanced workshop is finishing for a blue player down here. Up here, another raider does get picked off from the dragons. If uh, these raiders can get into the work line, the dragon could do some of the work for them. But the workers are able to kill a raider themselves. And the Rax is now down, looking at the building count. It's currently one army production building to five. It's not a beautiful position for a hero, that's for sure gold count there's about a thousand gold difference and about a thousand gold loss difference between the two players uh totaling to be about positive 2000 for our red player silver boss 
And that just goes to show, Hero went for a very aggressive build, and he was not able to get the damage he needed done in. That's the extent of good macro for you right there. Both players displaying excellent micro. Dragon's now coming in, and Tower's desperately trying to be brought up. I would like that um, Ballista a little bit closer to the workers so they can repair, because you don't know when uh, eight dragons are going to come down and just focus fire it. Meanwhile, Tower is now going to get attacked before it can finish going up. Right before it can finish, it gets destroyed. With the tower, while the workers are going for the munch attack. Beautiful. Oh, this is fun. Just a moment here while I reset the zoom. And GG is called just like that while I am out of the way. Well, I got a surprise for you guys. I don't just have one game. I've got two from Silver and Hero. It's actually a little series they had going on. That's all for this one. I'll see you in the next one.